Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you for coming by. My name is Ron from Lemelin Photography. Today we're going to talk about bridal shows and trade shows. Should you do them? Should you not do them? Do you want to do them? Is it necessary? Is it not necessary? So I've got some tips that might help you either make a decision or if you say yes, the best way to go about doing it. So stay tuned. <laughs> shows and a couple of tips along the way that I learned that uh, quite a few years ago uh, when I got into photography uh, I knew it was the next level I knew it was going to be one of those things that I wanted to kind of try and see what would be the best way to do it how do I do it I did not want to just show up with a folding table and two folding chairs chairs and just be like a rinky dink kind of thing so I went and did what's my first tip to you is recon go to the shows big shows small shows pay the fee to get in it's the right thing to do do not pretend to be a bride or a groom to gather information on pricing do not be that person just go around and visually look at how displays are done to me that was my biggest thing i didn't want to look like i was a rinky dink um, but i knew my level of creativity in photography was not going to be at the same as everybody else at the show so I decided to walk around and, and, and one guy actually called me out on it. Uh, he said doing a little recon. So that's why I named it this way. And I was like, yeah. So he gave me a couple of ideas and stuff like that on what to do. And I was looking at displays. Now the one that I went to, I'm from Massachusetts. So the one that I went to, I walked in there. It was the biggest show in the area. And, and I just went in there to just say, wow, you know, what was it going to be like? And I found out. Um, back then it was a little bit more elaborate than what it is now. I think it's simpler now. Uh, that's just my opinion. But what I did was I walked in and I saw these 10 by 10 foot gazebos, draped fabric and a big 55 inch screen TV showing slideshows. And it was, you know, sofas on the side. And I was like, wow, I, I can't match up with that display wise. I just, I just couldn't do it. Um, so I decided I was going to kind of like see what I can do as far as, you know, that was one extreme. The other extreme was a 10 by 10 booth, which is the average. Um, price will vary depending on where you are. Um, and I decided to um, look around a little more of the simpler ones. And they had a chair, table, displays, put out some books. Some people had banners. Some people had slide, you know, slideshows, TVs, video people were doing TVs, which makes sense because they're showing motion. Uh, as a photographer, um, I didn't feel the need to do that. I could have um, done a slideshow, and I did it once with a slideshow, put it on the laptop, and to be honest with you, the people weren't looking at it. You know why? Because they were looking at me. When I go to a bride show, I pride myself on my personality and, and my attention to detail as far as when I'm standing in front of somebody. Now, for me, that's different. So going back to what I noticed on the show, so do some recon. That's my first tip to you. Pay the money. Don't pretend to be anybody else. Don't grab the brochures to grab your base, your pricing off of that or anything like that. Be legit and be honest. If somebody calls you out on it, say, yeah, yeah, you're right. You know what? I'm just looking to see what it's like. So tip number one. Tip number two, prep work, prep work, prep work. Get your display ready in your home or in your studio before you get to the show. Do a dry run of what it looks like. Do a dry run. And I'm going to show you a couple of pictures as we're doing that, what I do in my living room to get ready for my shows. So what I do is I have this black foldable, like an accordion style. Uh, it's maybe five feet high. So I put it on top of a table and it's a foldable thing. And I have three, three, and three 16 by 20 displays, canvases or metal prints, because I sell both because of the shine or no shine, depending. So I did three of my best work. And yes, to that first thing is show your best work. Don't show your mediocre work and don't show, oh, that's my favorite shot of Aunt Susie taking my picture. Brides and grooms don't want to see that. What they want to see is they want to see bang. They want to see creativity. And first and foremost, they want to see creativity. If a bride is coming in and they want that light and airy look and you're only showing sunsets, you're not the photographer for her. And accept that. You're not the photographer for everybody. So stick to that. Get your prep work done. Do your just dry, dry runs of your displays at home. Figure out what you're going to do, what you're not going to do, and make those displays. Take pictures of it so when you get to the show, you remember how to put everything back up. 
Uh, I've done that before. So tip number three, marketing materials, business cards. God, one of my biggest pet peeves is I walk up to a, uh, a, a vendor, whether it's a caterer, photographer, DJ, or a, a, anything like that. I'm always gathering whoever I'm networking with at the show. Hey, I'd like to swap business cards with you. And I've got two or three and I hand it to them. And they're like, ah, I ran out. Are you that popular that you can't keep five business cards in your pocket? No lie, I've got 15 to 20 business cards in my pocket at all times. I've got them in my car door. I've got them in my wife's car door. I've got them in my wife's purse. I've got them in my own pocket myself. When I'm walking in the morning, I have two business cards in my pocket at all times. It's just the thing to do because not everybody is technologically where they want to just, hey, you have a QR code, you have a scan code, anything like that. So have business cards with you. Have those brochures, have those postcards, have those business cards, flyers, whatever it is, print them up ahead of time, print up a thousand at a time so you have a boatload to go with you. And don't forget them at home. So tip number three, cost of the booth. If your average wedding is $5,000, are you seriously telling me you cannot afford a $1,000 booth? If you're doing 10 weddings a year at $5,000 a wedding, are you seriously telling me you can't afford a $1,000 booth? It takes money to make money. You got to buy the booth. The benefit of the booth is you're getting in front of 150 brides and maybe only 20 of them are looking for photographers. The ratio is different depending on where you are. Also, don't forget to um, bring the marketing stuff with you and put it inside of your bag inside of there. So with that being said, just remember to um, always have that stuff with you. Um, if you're a $3,000 photographer and you're doing 20 weddings a year, are you seriously telling me you can't afford a $600 booth, a $300 booth, a $1,000 booth? Yeah, it's $1,000 out of your pocket. You get one wedding, you just, you've got the booth money back. But what if I don't get one wedding? Well, then you really need to go back and look at it and say, okay, why am I not getting leads? Is it my work? Is it my pricing? Is it my website? Is it not mobile friendly? All of those things come into play. So you can't blame, oh, that was a bad show. I didn't get any clients. Come on. 150 brides show up and not one of them is looking for a photographer, even if it's just a lead. I would rather get 20 leads or 25 leads, go home, contact, touch base with five of them and book three of them. That's win, 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 right? They're all the way around. So just remember that you're not going to get a lot of brides when it comes to that. You got to find your niche, have your display showing your creativity behind you. And, and, and at the very end, my biggest tip, that was number four was cost. Number five is be your authentic self. Do not pretend to be, hey, I'm so-and-so from so-and-so and and I can do so. Don't be that radio announcer voice kind of thing like that. If it's not real, don't do it. Let you be you. Now, flip side of that, you're timid. You're a little bit more on the shyer side. You don't know how to interact with brides or grooms or you don't like to interact with brides and grooms. You will struggle meeting brides. And when you get the brides, you will struggle with keeping the brides. And when you keep the brides, you will struggle with communications with the brides. So work on you. You be you. If you're shy, that's okay. If you're timid, that's okay. Just remember you have to be you. Don't be fake. Don't be that radio announcer that has the best voice in the world because you can't be like that all the time. So brides will be attracted to first thing they see as they're walking down the thing is your display. If you got nice work, they're going to stop. If your work is not creative or not enough stop worthy, they're going to keep going right on by. I can't tell you what I do for my booths. My creativity is in my display. And in my display causes them to stop. When they stop, they like my personality. They like my energy. When they like that, they like the display. They like my personality. It's a matter of just finding out what their budget is and signing the contract. So, Five tips to go through. Do your recon. Do your prep work. Make sure your displays are good. Take a picture ahead of time so you remember how to set it back up. Do your marketing, business cards, flyers, um, flyers, postcards, anything like that. Don't forget them at home. Bring them with you. Uh, Cost of the booth, spend the money. Spend the money, spend the money, spend the money. If you don't want to spend money, 
why would the bride and groom want to spend money on you? If you're that tight and you don't want to spend money, why is a bride and groom going to trust you with their day? Don't be tight. Don't be tight. So number five, be yourself. For me, on a wedding day, it's comfortable jeans on, Cole Haan comfortable shoes on, um, dress shirt, vest, nice tie. You look the professional that you're supposed to be. Don't show up in shorts. Don't show up in a holy t-shirt. Just heard that story. Don't be that guy that does not look unprofessional. Um, spend the money on the clothes. You know, don't, again, don't be fake. You don't have to show you don't have to show up with a tuxedo all the time. When you show up at the show, show up as if you were showing up at your wedding. Wear that comfortable jeans and wear those shoes and wear that vest and wear that button down shoes. Uh, I did one in the summer one time, uh, which was a, probably the only time I wore comfortable shorts, dress, sneakers, nice polo three button down shirt with no logo on it or anything like that, and nice fresh haircut. It was in the middle of the summer. It was in an air conditioned place, but it was a summer themed venue. So it fit the place. It would have been awkward to be standing there with a tuxedo and, you know, everybody else is showing up with sandals and flip flops and everything else like that. Play the part. Don't pretend. Play the part. So be yourself along the way. Along the way, you're going to show. I'm doing a show this weekend. It's a smaller show, um, but I'm going to show you behind the scenes of how I set up my display, where I set up my display how to point things forwards, backwards, which side to look at both sides, putting a table in front of you so it keeps that six foot distancing between you and the bride and groom, very important nowadays. Hand sanitizer on the thing, it shows them you're conscious of the I, of the times that we live in. I have a tablet that's set up to collect emails for winning at a, a bridal show, um, $100 gift certificate for coming to the show and coming to my booth and stopping and talking to me. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to show you a background of the show that I did. It's going to be a background and, and uh, video of all the other vendors that are inside the thing, how they're dressed, how they're not dressed, what their displays look like. So keep it in mind, the five tips along the way that should help you do your next bridal show, trade show. Don't be afraid to not do them. Do one. If you don't like it, it's not you. Great. But don't knock it if you don't get anybody. Go back and say, why am I not getting the bride? So pay attention to your surroundings. And I've got a quote for the day for you. So... The day you become content is the day that you stop pressing forward. Don't be content. Don't think that you know everything and don't think that you're the most creative person on the face of the earth because you ain't. And my creativity is not probably what another bride is looking for. So just pay attention when it comes to something like that. But just remember that. The day you become content, stopping, not pressing forward, is the day you stop pressing forward and you stop paying attention and you stop learning. Always be learning. Always be learning. And remember that, uh, with that being said, those are my tips for this show. So smile more, it hurts less. Peace.